Welcome to the ninth episode of the RP1 series. We have a lot of things to do in this episode, so I'm going to get started by accepting some contracts. I'm going to accept the Crewed Orbital Flight Contract, as well as the Pass the Carmen Line Contract, since we'll be doing both of these at the same time. We're also going to accept a Venus Flyby, because the transfer window is about to end, and I think we might be able to make it. Here we are in the VAB, where you can see the rocket that will send the first man into space. Here you can see the Mercury capsule, and I'm going to unlock the Mercury capsule for 60,000 funds, which also unlocks all the other Mercury parts. But, on a routine startup of the game, this happened. This is very bad. It turns out our persistent.sfs file, which contains all the data about our save, had simply ceased to exist. To make it worse, the only other SFS file we had was super old. When I say old, I mean the beginning of last video old. Well, at least I have that entire video as a guide on how to redo all of my progress. So it's time to get to work. My plan was to place the satellites in their orbit using the cheats menu, huh? but I don't know what any of these terms mean. Oh. Oh, looks like I'm gonna have to do some math. Looks like I'm gonna have to do a lot of math. So I busted out the notebook, and I started calculating the semi-major axis and eccentricity of all the orbits of our satellites. I even pulled out the calculator to make it exact. And we're back. Back in the VAB that is. This is the beta launch vehicle, clearly based off an Atlas booster. Here you can see the second stage is an LR-91, and the third stage is actually an Agena. However, up top we have another Agena, and then we can put our satellite on top of that. This craft can lift 6 tons in a low Earth orbit, double our previous craft. So now, I'll unlock some engines. First, I'll unlock the booster engines, then I'll unlock the main engine. I then went up to the LR-91 to find that I had already unlocked the config that I'm using. So then, I moved on and unlocked the Agena. Alright, let's get this thing tooled. Holy smokes! I guess that's the cost of balloon tanks. Okay, I want to take the time now to explain why the Venus mission is such high risk. Okay, here we are. See, our launch window is closing in April. April will be the latest that we can launch. If the rocket that we're sending to Venus fails, then we won't have another chance until the next transfer window. So with that out of the way, I'm going to add the crewed rocket, Threshold 1, to the build list. I'll then upgrade the VAB, and I can get ready to launch the first rocket of the video. This rocket is launching a lunar impactor. Throttle up, and ignition, and lift off. And our probe is on the way to the moon. With orbit safely achieved, I can then get ready for TLI. Alright, I just got a lunar encounter. But, 
I can get closer to the moon by using a combination of RCS and solid rocket motors. Here we are using our RCS to lower our periaps. Nice. And here we are arriving at the moon. Back in the VAB, I wanted to show you my Venus probe. As you can see, it's a small probe being launched on a beta rocket, but currently we don't have the comms capable of reaching Venus. So I'm simply going to remove the antenna from the craft and build it without it. I'll add it back later. All right, let's unlock these parts and get this thing built. Here I am in the astronaut complex, I'm going to hire two more Kerbals. And they can start training for proficiency in the Mercury capsule. Here you can see the crewed rocket being finished in the VAB. However, we cannot launch yet because we have not done mission training. As soon as their proficiency training is up, I will start Maria Long and Herbert Price on mission training. Alright, let's get them trained. Looks like they'll be done by the 20th of March, 1961. Remember when I said I'll add the comms back? Well, don't worry, I didn't forget, so let's add them back. Alright, just making sure we'll get a connection at Venus, and it looks good. March 20th, 1961. Man's dream is about to become a reality as Herbert Price steps into the Mercury capsule. As millions of Americans are on their way to work, they tune in via radio to listen to the historic flight. And almost 24 hours later, Herbert Price, the first man in space, safely splashes down in the Pacific Ocean. Now that the agency is rich, I'll upgrade the tracking station. It's time for our one shot at Venus. So, here we are on the launch pad, throttling up the engines and getting ready to launch the Beta vehicle for the first time. The margins on this mission are quite slim, and if anything goes wrong, we might not make it. Luckily, I angled the engines inwards in case of a failure so the rocket can keep flying. I know in actuality the Atlas detached its skirt, but I needed the extra thrust for this mission, so I pushed the rated burn time. Second stage ignition. And here is the Agena pushing us closer and closer to orbit. Oh, 
no. Looks like we ran out of fuel. I'll try to use the RCS, but I don't think that's gonna work. Hmm, we'll have to try something different. I tried to make our circularization burn the same maneuver as our ejection burn, but I wasn't actually able to get to Venus this way, so I set course for Mars. Unfortunately, the quickest encounter I could get was still 12 years away. Well, whatever, at least we can still get science from interplanetary space, right? Here we go, we're gonna light the Agena. Looks like that ain't gonna happen. Looks like we're just gonna burn up in the atmosphere. Well, we'll just have to try again next transfer window. But I didn't want to end off in a failure. So, Maria Long climbs into the Mercury capsule and gets ready to head for the stars. Uh-oh. Oh no, we don't have nearly enough thrust. In fact, we're actually falling. We're not gonna make it, we're gonna have to abort, but I'm gonna try and get the rocket as far away from the launch site as possible before I issue the abort command. All right, here we go. Abort. All right, and now I'm gonna ditch the LES and just spam that space bar to release our parachute. Well, whatever. You know what they say. Any landing you can walk away from is a good one. <laughs>